Why is this Vienna meeting different Thank from you. other OPEC meetings? What makes it different is, I think there are two things. One is it's not just OPEC, but it's also non-OPEC. Uh, and the second thing is the recognition that the price crash, uh, the bust is over, and it's, in a, and it's now going into a different era. I look, uh, Dr. Jurgen, at the different era that we're in, and it is about supply and demand microeconomics. Is there an underestimation of demand microeconomics in Vienna? Well, I think actually um, there's been a recognition that demand has been quite strong the last few years. There's some unease about the fact that we're now seeing that this uh, synchronized global economic boom is no longer synchronized. Uh, U.S. Uh, interest rates are going up. You know the problems, Tom, very well in the emerging markets. Uh, there's a little bit of turbulence on the subject of trade, trade wars and so forth. So, but that, that's out there. But basically, they've been looking at, at strong demand and uh, at the same time looking at um, geopolitical risk, otherwise known as a total collapse in Venezuela. Um, Dan Jurgen, talk to me a little bit about the, you know, the meeting on Friday, whether Iran is on board, whether uh, OPEC decides to increase production or not. Do you have any doubt that Russia and Saudi will stick to their agreement of increasing production? Well, I think it certainly looks, I mean, the, the, the mood here, what you're hearing, is a kind of a converging consensus, I think, on uh, the production. Uh, production is going to go up. Uh, there's been the chronic concern that uh, with low prices uh, and there's really a situation of underinvestment that you can look up two, three, four years from now, despite the growth in the United States, and see uh, uh, just problems in terms of availability of supply. So that's been very much on uh, the mind here, and that's been a big theme. But it does seem that uh, that uh, everybody you know involved is that there's going to be a convergence to take this uh, the Vienna alliance uh, to uh, a new level. Uh, what does that mean for the price of oil? How much of it is already priced in? That um, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I you know I could take a guess on that, but I think that just from the flavor of things that uh, a lot is priced in, that the expectations are, are, are there, that, uh, you know, maybe a little while ago, a few days ago, people thought there might be some sharp crisis or confrontation. And I think also the other thing that's really interesting to me is the degree to which the voice of the consumer uh, is being heard in Vienna. And, and I should say that, um, could, but that consumer can be one in... Um, in the United States, but it's also India, it's China, and even Russian consumers.